quick time check so um, know where we are it's the uh, 12th of June uh, 2019 as you can see um, this poor old Acer has struggled through um, I think we had a spell of really bad uh, cold weather after a spot of warm um, and, uh, and we had storm Hannah on top of that and although I kept this tree um, in a cold frame um, during the nights it still got very badly wind burned um, but it has survived and it's thrown out some new shoots so it's not dead I have wired up the remaining branches um, into a pattern that more pleasing to my eye um, I was thinking about leaf pruning this but I I'm not sure I think I might leave it another week or so let these leaves get a bit bigger and then um, there is a look of it a new shoot from the right tip here so ideally um, it could be pruned in these points but again it's not a strong tree at the moment so I'm just going to leave it be um, hopefully these leaves will be developing roots down below and then the roots can bow at the top next year uh, but we'll come back and look at it later in the summer and uh, yeah thank you Storm Hannah I think it was also exacerbated by the fact that it had been kept indoors in the shop in the supermarket I got it from so um, you know it already shot out early really for a maple and um, didn't take to being outside too well even though I tried my best to molly coddle it at least I kept it alive more new shoots uh, right down here at the base so yeah it's a survivor so that's a good thing hello where uh, it's the um, 26th of June 2019 and um, you see before you the um, Japanese maple and uh, I want to grow this into or well, my plan was to grow this into a big um, a big old broom um, but Storm Hannah came through and the fact that the tree had been um, kept indoors in the supermarket meant that uh, subsequent cold period almost did for this tree despite my best efforts but um, it's uh, putting out new shoots from down below and uh, these leaves at the top except for on the very tip of this branch um, you know, they're not really up to much so I'm going to risk it and I'm going to cut these back and there's a couple of yeah, reasonable nice buds just there um, and the same with this one this one and this one I'm leaving a stub each time um, maples tend to die back um, so I'm leaving a stub like these and I'm actually going to remove these stubs in here now if I can now that these branches have hardened off some um, okay try and get into this one without damaging the two branches So now we have the main trunk uh, divided in two and then each of these branches divided into two again and hopefully I'll build a crown from that. Um, this will be a composite video so I'm going to stop recording now um, and we'll record again in a couple of months time and uh, towards the end of the year 
and we'll see all this in one go. Okay, so it's the 31st of July now. Um, this tree was shooting one-sidedly and uh, I've turned it round now so that these branches that shoot are in more or less the same place as these were that I haven't. So I'm hoping these will now uh, get a bit more light here and begin to shoot. Uh, lots of shoots coming from down low so I'm confident that the tree is uh, recovering in health and beginning to shoot out. Um, it obviously didn't like the move from the supermarket or it would have died anyway um, out into the garden this spring uh, and soak for the longest while uh, hence the making of this video in uh, piecemeal but um, yeah it's growing now and growing reasonably well so I'm hoping that it will continue to do so and uh, towards the autumn um, you often get a second flush of growth so I'm hoping that uh, it will do to us proud and uh, yeah see you in a while okay so it's the 15th of August now and uh, this tree has finally began to recover from Storm Hannah and the bashing it got and uh, you know, getting over as I said at the time um, the fact that it had been kept in the shop and I uh, brought it home and exposed it to frost and wind and rain goodness knows what else um, but yeah it's finally yeah finally showing me signs that it's recovering it's growing strongly down here as well um, I wasn't sure whether I was going to have to regrow this top uh, but we have a fair bit of growth from this from this uh, shoot which I'm just going to loosely wire so it will stay back out of the way um, it's a little bit sheltered in this particular spot and so it's growing out for the light but is now in danger of shading out the other bits I want to come through so um, I've actually got a bud yeah, just here nothing on these points as yet so I think this might have died off but at least I will have uh, my dividing into two and into two which is what I want uh, here this piece is growing quite nicely and the bud has broken here so I will have a shoot here two into two into two and I have fresh buds opening let me see if I can zoom into that I have fresh buds opening on the end here so yeah all in all I think I've managed to moddy cuddle this tree through um, through the worst of it and provided of course they can keep it alive over this coming winter and who knows what that will be like um, we actually have some a chance to create something nice with this tree I'm gonna stop the camera and go and get uh, my scissors I'm actually going to prune this off because um, I think it's, it would be a good idea for no reason I just want to stop it here it might also cause some more back budding down in this area so two seconds okay so yeah I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm going to trim this back like so um, I'm also resisting the urge to take cuttings <laughs> I've got too many trees I never thought I'd say that but I'm quite literally running out of space so I'm going to resist the urge um, this I'm going to leave to grow a little bit longer a little bit stronger um, before I trim it back okay well this video is a long while in the making several months but hopefully it will be worth it um, we'll see when I pull it all together towards the end of the year okay so today is the 27th of August and uh, yeah I think this tree is done good as you can see new shoots coming from most of the, the branches as well as new shoots from the trunk which uh, 
signals to me that this tree is making a good recovery from its trials and tribulations of the earlier part of the year. Um, the new growth is particularly attractive and uh, I'm looking forward to some good autumn colour when we get to autumn. Okay, so it's September the 4th and uh, yeah, the tree is looking incredibly healthy. I'm loving this oh, orangey, reddy colour of the new shoots. Um, I'm going to turn the tree around again, just so that it's, uh, it'll get a balance of light. But um, I think I'm going to be able to manage that and hold the camera at the same time. So let's just turn off for one second. A little bit less exciting from this angle. Um, but that's okay. Uh, it's enjoyed this sheltered spot and that's the main thing. That's pulled it through from, uh, well, it was touch and go whether it was going to survive this spring. Uh, it's very, very healthy at the moment. Shooting out all over the shop. So um, yeah, I'm not sure which will be my front eventually. I've dealt with those stubs. I don't know if I mentioned that the last time I made uh, some footage, but I've taken out those dead stubs that were there. So, yeah. I'm not going to publish this video yet. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Um, see how it gets on, but I'm really pleased at the moment. Okay, so it's now the 24th of October 2019. Um, the tree has done well. Uh, it could be a redder colour, um, but because it didn't get a lot of light, I put it in that sheltered spot to let it recover from the storm damage. Um, that's why some of the leaves have gone quite green rather than the, the red of um, Atropurpureum normally is. Uh, but I think actually in one year, considering it almost died at the start of the year, um, that made some progress. Um, we have a basic structure. Uh, I think this is my front, but that may change. We have a basic structure, we have a trunk. Uh, we have a fork into two and then those forks in turn in two. Um, the crown will be built up over the next few years from here. Um, it's still a bit loose in the pot, which means it hasn't filled this pot with roots, so it won't get root pruned this um, coming spring, um, but will just be allowed to grow away as it is. Um, and hopefully it will grow away strongly because of that. Uh, a lot of these small pieces on the side and down here will be removed. These pieces will be shortened back um, and so on. So uh, this, yes, 24th of October now. I will make another short snippet um, once the tree turns to its autumn colours. So you can see that before we before I put this video out. Okay, so it's the um, 10th of November now and uh, the tree is beginning to show its autumn colour. I think I'll make this the last short video um, or the last added piece to this longer video um, before the tree puts itself to sleep for the winter. Uh, so yeah, it's um, looking quite good. As you've seen previously, I put a few pieces of wire on. I just want to put uh, one more, one more piece of wire on in this section of the tree, um, just to bring this branch out. Um, so I'm going to start here and work my way up to the branch, securing it nicely and. Uh, I don't want to snap it. I do want the leverage. So it's not going to be doing a huge amount of shaping to this. I just want to, to increase that, that angle. Make the tree a bit more three-dimensional. Next spring, 
Um, that wire will sit on over the winter. And uh, I think that gives it a little bit more shape. Uh, so yeah, long way to go before this becomes a bonsai tree. Um, but it's good bare bones. Um, I can tell by the amount of rock in the, in the tree itself that it's put on a fair degree of root, which bodes well for the future years. Um, it won't be repotted in spring. Um, what I will be doing in spring is giving this uh, quite a hard prune in terms of some of these branches will be brought back to uh, this sort of point so I'll get the progression from one to two to four to six etc um, eventually building a canopy uh, in this sort of general area um, all of these lower branches will be removed in the spring and um, hopefully the vigor will then go into the top I'll rub out any uh, buds that decide to pop in this area the uh, reason I'm doing it in the spring and not doing it now is because I don't want to leave open wounds uh, sitting all winter for um, disease etc to get in I'd rather uh, cut them back in the spring just as the trees bursting into life and hopefully it can then close up those wounds quickly and uh, carry on growing still undecided as to what is my front um, I know that uh, I have a good root base at the base here um, which gives me a good front um, but the same is also true at the back so this will be in one orientation or possibly uh, from this angle as I say, I'm going to grow it as a three-dimensional tree. So try and make it look nice from both sides. And then at the next repot, uh, I'm going to make a more concrete decision as to which is the front. So that's it for this video. I um, won't see this tree now again until spring. Thank you all for watching. And uh, as always, please, please take care of yourselves.